Hi Libra, welcome to your tarot reading for the week from October 9th through the 16th. It's Raina here. Happy birthday to those of you born during this week. Today is John Lennon's birthday. I was just thinking about this yesterday and he would have been 77 years old. Can you imagine? 77, almost 80 years old. You think of a, a person like John Lennon and you can't imagine him as an elderly person because he just had so much life to him. He was, he was like full of ideas, you know, the typical Libran, but very deep. Um, actually, I found out that uh, John Lennon had his Mercury in, in Scorpio. And, uh, and they said he had a sharp tongue, but, you know, that can also be having a very deep penetrating intellect where they are not just satisfied with surface conversations and surface um, ideas, like going beneath the surface of life. So um, I think I'm going to have to do a video on John Lennon's natal chart because I think that would be very interesting. I, I believe I attempted one long ago before I started doing these readings. So I'm going to have to check into that again. But I, you know, it reminded me uh, thinking about Libra, which is typically very, uh, I was gonna, not, not very surface, but just very sociable in a light kind of way. Not necessarily, not necessarily what I am talking about with uh, uh, John Lennon uh, on the uh, mental level per se. But I was thinking of Oscar Wilde, another Libran, who we know from all these wonderful quotes of his, and I'm always uh, coming across more of them. And he was more of that kind of a gadfly, you know, the person who's very, uh, probably like very fun at parties and stuff like that. Not that I know that much about him, but one of the, the quotes of his that I really like is, life is too important to take seriously. You know, I really think that there's some truth to that, even though I do, I, I do feel like I take life very seriously in terms of wanting to know what my purpose is, what, what I'm here for, you know, what is the meaning of this, of this life. So anyway, I'm using my initial deck, which is the Rider Weight deck, the the standard by which all decks are compared, illustrated by Pamela Coleman Smith. Very evocative illustrations. Very good for beginners. If any of you out there want to learn uh, the tarot, definitely start with this deck because it will be very faithful to the traditional meanings of the cards. And and when when believe me, when you're starting, you need all the help you can get. It can get very confusing sometimes about what some of the, the cards represent. So I'm also going to be doing a different spread. Um, it's just going to be a, a, a simple past, present, future, but I'm going to pick uh, pairs of cards and try to connect each pair with uh, each position. So that's been a lot of fun as well. And this is a general focus, of course. Okay. For the first thing I have to say, which is kind of interesting because I've been doing a lot of these in the last couple of days is I keep getting the high priestess. So the high priestess um, is about secrets being revealed or that are being kept. And I was noting about the full moon in Aries that just came about and the intensity that I felt. And, you know, of course, I can't prove that it was because of that, but it just so happened to be around that time, even a little bit before that, where, and for me, it's my 12th house. So it's like all of the things that maybe are buried deep within 
me and, and some of you. And Aries is such a, an in-your-face sign that some people may have been faced with truth that just slammed them with honesty and the kind of suddenness of it. So this may be kind of the aftermath or even the eclipses still playing themselves out. For the past position, I'm getting the world card, a card of closure, and the three of pentacles. So uh, for some people, um, there may be a situation where you realize that uh, your partner was unfaithful and um, you know it's 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 kind of funny because the reason I'm saying this is this is a card actually of teamwork and of of um, cooperation in the workplace but anytime you see a three it could be three parties involved and I do have a card that connects with deception and this is marriage um, so I have to wonder what's up with this now you may have closed uh, a relationship that you had like for instance um, uh, perhaps you were um, about to get married and uh, you were still seeing somebody else and you had not let that other relationship go and um, or your partner hadn't um, one thing I wanted to say too is that with that full moon in Aries Librans may have been affected with marriages that have fallen apart either they have actually ended, separated, the, the couple has separated, or revelations have come out. Maybe it wasn't exactly on that date, maybe it was leading up to it. Um, but there's something with endings in your past, along with a card that is associated with more than two parties involved, okay? In the workplace, this could simply be that um, you finished a project. It might not even be anything that serious. We're talking about a, this is a short-term reading. I, <laughs> I, I can't seem to, 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 to keep it to that. I always am making it into something really involved. I, I, th this is one of the reasons why I did this allegedly, supposedly short spread, but I just keep going on and on. Um, so for the present, we have the... Ten of um, Cups, which is a wonderful card of, you know, happily ever after. But why is happily ever after coupled with Five of Swords? This is a card, now, this can be a card of deception. Somebody playing you, pretending to be someone that they're not. Um, maybe more parties involved. In the workplace, for instance, that could be people who are, you know, going behind your back trying to keep you down, so to speak, in, in whatever way that, that, they, that they will do that. But the point is that there's some kind, there's a stark contrast between those two cards. So it has to be that, I, I'll, I'll say it this way, it looks to me like you may, uh, that there may be some, some of you who were involved in, a, in an affair and that person left their partner for you and now you're with them, maybe you're, you're engaged, you're going to get married. This card is a, what do they call that, a victory that is tainted by the circumstances around it. I can't, I don't know why I can't, maybe it's because it's so early in the morning. It's like you win, but at what cost, okay? And I suppose this could also be if this happened to you, where you were the one left and the other person's going off into the sunset with somebody. It's like they may have thought that they won, 
but really the karma generated, and I don't mean bad juju, I mean the action. Karma means actions, so cause and effect. The actions that are generated are sowing um, future seeds. So it's like, you, you know, a person can get success, but if it's at the price of someone else's happiness, then that has to be factored into it. It's not like this pure success. So in the workplace, if somebody steps over somebody, steps on somebody to get to where they're going, and they succeed, can they really feel good about themselves? If they slander other people, this is a card of slander, of you know, talking badly about somebody. And maybe they get the other person to believe the, the lies or the, the venom. But what is the cost, the ultimate cost? And um, this is the outcome. We have the, the High Priestess and the Six of Pentacles. Now, the High Priestess could be Things will come out, okay? Now, this could be a card of marriage, and, it, and, and speaking of, if this was a marriage that broke up, what this could be saying is that the secrets will come out, and if you were somebody who was wronged, you will get financial compensation for the other person's deception. And so... The other person may have um, been the been unfaithful in the relationship, but the secret will come out, and you will get what's coming to you, and that means in the positive sense. If this is something related to um, coworkers, the same thing applies. Maybe somebody tried to steal your ideas, and. Um, they thought they hit the jackpot, but really it'll come out that they were um, taking somebody else's ideas. And, uh, and they have to answer for that. So I hope that this is helpful to some of you and that you resonate with it. My private readings obviously are going to be a lot more <laughs> tailored to the individual. I have um, most of them involve the, your natal chart instead of just the tarot, which is very symbolic and open to interpretation. So if you'd like to check out what I have, what my offerings are, please visit rainamoonastrology.com. The link is below. Take care, you guys. Bye.